So hi, my name is Ani Mohan. I'm a junior AB. I'm, uh, I'm studying electrical engineering and minoring in economics, computer science, and physics. Well, last summer, I spent it in Seattle working at Microsoft. I was working for the Bing division of Microsoft, working in online advertising to make some of the search results related to ads that are served for users a little bit more efficient. And uh, my passion is very much in technology and specifically technology entrepreneurship. So this summer, I'm very excited to be working at Dropbox, which is uh, an on the rise startup in Silicon Valley. The past year, I've become more and more involved with the Duke Smart Home, which I would say is dedicated towards alternative and sustainable living. Um, and so the Smart Home, which is you know, located right next to the Freeman Center on campus, uh, serves as a, as a physical space where students can experiment with new technologies that they'd like to see uh, incorporated into you know, 21st century homes. And so one of the projects that I'm starting to work on with a few friends is a smart, the idea of a smart refrigerator. So what would a fridge look like if it could determine what its internal contents were? And how could it use that information to better service the users of the fridge? And so what we're trying to do is to build a, a basic uh, system that lets people categorize what foods they've purchased and what foods they've stored inside of their fridge. I would say, I would say kind of the biggest driving force for me to pursue entrepreneurship is just the concept that something that was completely your idea has this tangible huge impact on actual people. And just the, the whole start to finish process and realizing that vision is just incredibly compelling. Because one of the things that's really like motivating to me is making sure that whatever I do has a lot of impact and being able to directly tie my work to that impact is, is very satisfying. Uh, one of the projects I was working on for about 10 months up until very recently was a nutrition app targeted towards pregnant women. So it was both a website and a set of mobile apps that were trying to get pregnant women to enter in every day what they've eaten and giving them kind of actionable feedback based on what they ate. And, uh, and one of the most satisfying things for me building the app was the ability to see actual real users using something that I'd built every day. And honestly, it was one of the most satisfying things that I can think of.